question 4 of the CSEC May 2019 past paper. The quantity P varies inversely as the square of V. Using letters P, V and K form an equation connecting the quantities P and V. Alright, let's see what's happening here. P varies inversely as the square of V. Now, if you have two quantities vary, if it was, let's say A and B vary, so that <coughs> A and B varies directly Now, when A, alright, if A doubles from 10 to 20, B will double from 2 to 4. And if A triples from 30 to 60, B triples from 4 to 12, because 23 is 64, 3 is 12. Those are directly. If A and B vary, if A vary as the square of B, then you would have A. I'd put um, equal sign here. It would be the sign meaning to vary. If A and B, if A vary as the square of B, then you would have to have this situation. Right, A, when you have A, it's 5. If A varies as the square of B, then B, suppose B was 2 squared. Here, A doubles from 5 to 10. B would double from 2 square to 4 square. Now, backing up a bit, 2 squared is 4. And 4 squared is 16. So, that's what would happen. So, you would have A is equal to something the k multiplied by b squared. Now, if a was 5 when b was 14, a is 10 and b is 16, you could use any one of these and find k. For example, you could say 5 is equal to k multiplied by 2 squared. So 5 is equal to k multiplied by 4. So k would be 5 divided by 4. Alright. So using that principle and coming to this situation. The quantity p varies inversely as the square of v. p varies inversely which means you will not have v over here we'll have 1 over v p varies inversely as the square of v 1 over v squared now this backing up this was direct proportion now this is inverse proportion this is direct proportion this is inverse proportion Direct proportion means when one increase, the other also increase. With inverse proportion, when one increase, the other decrease. Alright? So, if P was 5 and V was, say, 2 squared, 1 over 2 squared, when P doubles 
Now, this would be 1 over 4. When P doubles to 10, V would, doubles, would double to 1 over... Now, in this case, instead of 2 squared, you'd have 4 squared. So, it's 1 over 16. If you double it further, A goes from 10 to 20. In this case, you would double 4. So, you'd have 1 over 8 squared. So, you'd have 1 over 32. So, you notice 5 increases to 10. But a quarter does not increase to 1 6. It decreases to 1 6 because 1 6 is smaller than a quarter. So you have inverse proportion. So let's go back to this situation. It's just a matter of making this clear. Trying to figure out exactly how it works. P varies inversely as V. As the square of V. If P varied inversely as the square of B, then you would have P inversely as 1 over V. But they said the square of V, so it's V square. So using P, V, and K, form an equation connecting the quantities P and V. This would be the equation. Alright? So we have our equation here.